you'll hear these people, it, it, it's, you know, they made it, it was a big deal in Virginia, the, these counties, parents were really upset, and then a lot of the media would be like, oh, it's not happening, it's not happening, and they would basically act like this is all just made up. Well, let me show you some of the things that have been done throughout our country uh, just in the last couple years. The Arizona Department of Education created a, quote, equity toolkit, claiming that babies show the first sign of racism at three months old, and that white children become full racist, quote, strongly biased in favor of whiteness uh, by age five. Santa Clara County Office of Education denounced the United States as a, quote, parasitic system based on, quote, the invasion of, quote, white male settlers and encouraged teachers to cash in on kids' inherent empathy in order to recruit them into political activism. And a Philadelphia elementary school forced fifth graders to celebrate black communism and simulated a black power rally to quote free Angela Davis from prison and at that particular school 87 percent of students fail to achieve basic literacy by graduation and so this is something that you see all across the country and we have a responsibility in Florida to say we're not going to do it so so we did do that so it violates Florida standards to scapegoat someone based on their race, to say that you know, they're inherently racist, to say that they're an oppressor or oppressed or any of that. And that's good and that's important. Uh, but we also have to realize that um, we got to do more to make sure that that actually carries the day in the classrooms and in, in our society. So today we are going to be introducing to the public, and, and we have legislators who are going to help us with this, um, a new piece of legislation for the upcoming legislative session called Stop Wrongs Against Our Kids and Employees Act, the Stop Woke Act. And it's something that... <laughs> and this will do a number of things that are very important. One, it will put into statute uh, the Department of Education's prohibition on CRT in K-12 through schools. No taxpayer dollars should be used to teach our kids to hate our country or to hate each other. And, and, and that's important and that's all well and good, but I think what we've seen recently is you can legislate things like Parents' Bill of Rights. You can have certain things, and sometimes the school districts don't always follow it. And so we are going to be including in this legislation giving parents a private right of action to be able to enforce the prohibition on CRT, and they get to recover attorney's fees uh, when they prevail, which is very important. <laughs> And yes, there will be a fortified ability for the State Department of Education to hold people accountable, but honestly, the parents know uh, best what's going on, and they're in the best position to be able to do it. And here's the thing. Uh, a lot of times, these people will fear lawsuits more than a, a fine from the State Department of Education, because when you do a lawsuit, you get discovery, and you're subject to that. And when they say they're not doing CRT, and then you have all this information showing that they are doing it, uh, it really is an uncomfortable position for them. So I think that gives parents the ability to go in and ensure that our state standards are being followed, and I think it's something that needs to be done. Uh, we also need to understand that this has become a cottage industry, the CRT. There's people making huge amounts of money. They basically will get tens of thousands of dollars to go in and do a training, um, sometimes at schools, sometimes at businesses, you know, basically saying like, okay, pay me $50,000 so I can teach your employees how racist capitalism is or something like that. And I'm just thinking to myself, well, you're certainly charging a king's ransom to do that. You don't, you, don't, you don't complain about capitalism when you're lining your own pocket. It's just when other people are doing well. But the issue is you have these whole uh, cottage industry of these consultants that will come and they'll go into a school district or they'll go to a business and they'll go to colleges and universities and they bring a lot of this into those institutions and they call it equity. Um, just understand, when you hear equity used, that is just an, an ability for people to smuggle in their ideology. Because we don't need to have these terms. We have 
society based on equality, where you're treated equally regardless of your upbringing, regardless of your race. You have the same rights and, and privileges as anybody else. Equity is used to put the thumb on the scale in favor of their ideology. And so that's where you get things like CRT and a whole host of other things. So our legislation will defund any money for K-12 or higher ed going to CRT consultants. We are also not going to allow the staff or employees or teachers in our education system to be subjected to, some, uh, uh, to that type of training where they're forced to sit there and listen. And they have had this in different parts of the, uh, of the country. The San Diego Public Schools did a training where they accused white teachers of being colonizers on stolen land and told them, quote, you are racist and, quote, you are upholding racist ideas, structures, and policies. And they recommended that the teachers undergo, quote, anti-racist therapy. So this is wrong when it's done to our kids, but it's also wrong to force employees to have to go through that. So you are not going to have that in any school in the state of Florida, which is good. But, you know, it's not just in schools, and I know that's been a big focus, and understandably so, because parents send their kids. I don't think very, I think most parents just want them to be educated you know, on the kind of the basics. I don't think that they're interested in this indoctrination. I know I'm not, and I know most of you are not. And so, and it's important. And it is wrong when you're trying to take a kid uh, who's there to learn basics, and you're putting ideology, and you're trying to, to indoctrinate. Uh, but this is also goes beyond education, and it goes beyond uh, just schooling. And it really has become something that is being utilized by corporate America to, I think, create hostile work environments for many of their employees. And you look at what some of these big companies have done in recent years. Bank of America has had training teaching that the United States is a system of, quote, white supremacy and encourages their employees to become woke at work. Verizon has taught employees that America is fundamentally racist, and they've even promoted defunding the police. And a Google employee program claims that America is, quote, a system of white supremacy and that all Americans are, quote, raised to be racist. And so that is some of the stuff that we're seeing. And, you know, I think about it, if you're in a, a company and someone's telling, you know, dirty jokes or doing this, that could be considered a, a hostile work environment. Well, how is it not a hostile work environment to be attacking people based on their race or telling them that they're privileged or that they're part of oppressive systems when they're, all they're doing is showing up to work and trying to earn a living. So we believe that this corporate CRT, it's basically corporate sanctioned racism, and they're trying to shove it down these employees' throats. We believe that that violates the Florida civil rights laws, but to the extent it doesn't, we're going to make sure that the law does include this into these laws so that, that employees have an ability uh, to protect themselves against this kind of, really, which is harassment.